Hey y'all, it's me again, Joey. I went to the Louisiana Beekeepers Convention this weekend. By the way, I had a good time, met a lot of good people. Uh, while I was there, I purchased me a new solar wax melter from Hilco Bees. And it's a nice looking wax melter. And uh, some of you that's been with me long enough, you, you've probably seen videos of my older wax melter, my homemade one. And it's always done a pretty good job. But over the years, it's sitting out in the weather during use. A lot of the, it was built out of scrap plywood and not necessarily anything that would hold up good outside. And it's starting to come delaminated a little bit. And, and instead of making repairs, I decided to go ahead and get something newer. Even the Lexan on it has got a little worn over the years and it just seemed like the box wasn't getting as hot at melting the wax as quite as fast as it normally would but we go ahead we'll put this thing together right quick it's uh unassembled and i'll throw it together right quick and we'll take it outside and set it up and put some wax in it y'all ready let's get started All right, we'll set this to the side a minute. And it's, by the way, as you can see, uh, it's got a nice lid, good construction. And uh, I think it's gonna take a lot of heat in. So we'll go ahead and set it to the side. There's not a lot of pieces, it's pretty, Pretty common sense to put together, looks like it. Uh, let's go on this side. We've got the pan and the little uh, guard or strainer, whatever you want to call it. We'll go ahead and it's got holes right down here in the side of the box. You just kind of, let me show you. See where you slide this rod through there? If I remember right, I think I saw John actually did a video on this. Let me see something. I'm going to get this out of the way right now. I'm going to set that right down here and kind of just get it out of the way. We'll set this through here. Slide it all the way through. All right, I'm gonna pick this up. Set that little bridge right there. And it's together. There we go. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let me turn it around and see what you can see here. We got the Pan, the strainer, and the catch pan here. I'm going to get a paper towel and wrap on here. Let me go ahead and grab that and we'll put that on there now instead of doing it in the heat. All right, one sheet of paper towel doesn't make it all the way across. I may just go ahead and double it like this. I don't know if that'll be too thick or not. Uh, we'll give it a try this time, but I thought about just tearing one of them in half. That way I wouldn't have that much of an overlap. Let me spin this around where you can probably see it better. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I got paper towel lapped right here. I'm going to go under just a little bit and go up this way. And it's, it'll be, this will be able to catch it all the way across and it's got a little bit about an inch and a half under there to kind of help filter too. And what I'm gonna do here, I use these on clips like this, paper clips. That one feels a little hard to mash. To hold my paper towel in my other one, the way it worked. 
And I probably just need one. I'm gonna put one right here to hold that good. And we are ready to take it outside and see how it works. Let's go out there. I'm gonna show you um, one of my old crude looking wax melters while we're out there. Um, I pretty much use it to to kind of like dirty brute, you know. I I use my old wax melter for fairly clean burk home and even uh, cappings, but the other one I'm going to show you. Uh, it's, like I said, it's a little crude, but I can put dirtier brood comb and stuff in it, and it just drips through a strainer, an old strainer that I just quit using for the honey house, and it goes through and just drops in a bucket of water. You get, I just threw this one in there, that's not part of it, but you just get a lot of this drips down in there, and it's good for like a first round. But you, you'll get all kind of little shapes of wax. Uh, but it, it cleans it the first round, and then I can run it through the other melter. Yeah, don't pay all my mess in front of my camper here any attention. I drug the hose out of the way where I could mow the other day. All right. We'll set up right here somewhere. Well, let me just go ahead and show you this one. Let's see. All this thing is an old piece of Lexan. You can see I just kind of threw some in there, just stopped. It hadn't been in here a while. It's kind of nasty looking because I didn't even know I still had something laying in here. But when this is warm, that'll clean out. You can clean it out good and shiny. Fairly shiny anyway. But that drips down in a bucket of clean water. I don't know how long this has been in here. But anyway, it's just a way to kind of help speed things up. That way I wouldn't have to run it to, through this one two or three times. I could do that one while this one's cleaning another batch up. Let me go ahead and just move this old thing out of the way. You can see right here where it's coming apart with me. And like I said, that for whatever reason, the Lexan has just got where it just seems like it blocks some of the sun. Now this table is not exactly level. It's kind of on a hill in two directions. So I may wish I'd have leveled that thing up a little bit better. But we're going to go ahead and work with it anyway. All right, everything looks like it's good to go. Um, we'll make sure this pan, oops, excuse me, y'all. Right, let's get you right here. Pull this down. All right, I wanna make sure this pan is under there where it can drip in kind of line it up because the pan is actually about the same width as the tray or vice versa I think I said that backwards this is kind of a mix of mostly cappings and has, I see it has a little bit this is cappings that were actually caught under the boxes when the uh, bees were cleaning the frames out that's where most of these cappings here came from Like I say, it's a little mixture of a lot of things. I don't know how much I can put in there. I know it'd be more than that because usually I use one of them uh, tree just fell in the woods. If you don't hear it, does it still make noise? I'm gonna go ahead and dump it all. We'll see what happens. I get in trouble, I get in trouble. What y'all say? You know what? 
I'm gonna stop right there and I'll keep an eye on it. Let's see what it does. We'll come back every hour or so and check it out. See you then. Okay, y'all. It's It's been actually three hours. I went to town, then stopped by my mom's on the way back. All that wax is melted, and most of it's already went in the pan. Another thing I realized, I didn't put any water. I normally put water in the pan, and I didn't put any. I don't know what kind of trouble I'm gonna have getting that wax out. But I'm gonna put the rest of that bucket in and probably go pull some more out of the freezer and put in here as well. See how that works. That melted pretty fast. Three hours. We'll check it again later. I'm not sure if you can see in that pan or not here. Oh yeah, it's probably a good half inch deep. And it's probably too late to put any water in it. Let her cook. Okay, y'all. It's been about 45 minutes since I put that one in there. And it's pretty much done. It's still got a little bit of dripping to do. And uh, it'll be done. So I'm gonna let it sit here the rest of the day and cool off tonight and we'll pull it out and see what it looks like. Oh, and I did, did uh, I got nervous so I put a little bit of water in the bottom of that thing, hot water. But I've talked to a couple of people and they told me I didn't have to do that, so I'll try it next time without it. Good morning, y'all. I had this in the middle because my plans were to actually put the old melter back up here too and kind of run them both while I was doing this video. But this one just out, it just outdoes that one so much. I'm going to go ahead and slide it over here to the edge where I can work better. I don't think I'm going to need anything else. Alright, let's take a peek. Alright, we've got a pretty, pretty block down in there and I'm looking. Uh, I see just a little bit of wax it kind of stayed there i guess anything else coming down to push that down but that's not bad at all not bad at all go ahead and get the block out oops it's got a little bit of water in it so i gotta be careful here we go i guess i go ahead and slide this back over that way uh, Oh yeah, it come right out. We just let this, let me dump this water. Look at that, y'all. Ain't that pretty? That is pretty as it can be. And there was room. I could have probably put more wax in there yesterday, but I wanted to check it out, see how it works. That's gonna be great. That is gonna be great. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for this one. And I really like the way that turned out. But uh, I wanna thank two people, Brad with Cajun Homestead and Rodney Middleton. They both have YouTube channels and 
I, if you're not already subscribed to them, I'll put a link to their channel in there. But I talked to them and they helped me out a lot, telling me how they do theirs and everything. And um, it was pretty good help and pretty good advice. I'd also like to thank Hilco Bees for selling a nice product like this at a good price. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.